something we've been covering all week, a new entry system at the gate of the Wando Port Terminal. It is certainly causing backups. We've been looking at these pictures all week long down Long Point Road and 526 eastbound. Today, several agencies were out helping to direct some of this traffic. And you can see in time lapse video, the traffic appeared to move the best that it actually has all week. So right now, let's go live to News 2's Macy McLeod. She had a chance to speak with people who were working to relieve some of this congestion. That's right, Carolyn. I mean, you can take a look behind me at the gates of the port right here, and you can definitely see a big improvement from earlier this week. And part of the reason is because more government agencies are getting involved, like the South Carolina Department of Transportation. Now, they were out here to help direct traffic, commercial vehicles to the right, other vehicles to the left. And they will be out here through the weekend, continuing to help with the flow. The SCDOT says they were not aware of the change in the port system until Monday when the traffic began. So now they have a system in place to help things run smoothly. There were times when you had trucks trying to jump the line, you had cars not really sure where to go. So today we put the cones out and we've got the police working a little bit uh, at this end of the queue and it seems to be working a lot better. And coming up, we will hear more from Jim Newsom, CEO of the ports, about how to make sure this traffic doesn't continue into next week. Live in Mount Pleasant, Macy McLeod, News 2.